Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys all doing? So today we're gonna be catching a bass. Hopefully we're gonna try to catch a bass to the pond, maybe like a two, three pounder. We have a styrofoam um, cooler right here because I don't have a regular cooler. And we're gonna be throwing a gambler with a little weight on the bottom. So hopefully we got up some fish. And yeah, so let's, let's see what we get. Oh my God, guys, did you see? That snake just came out of water for this gambler. Oh my, I don't even think I recorded that. That was a big snake too. Oh my god. Alright guys, first fish and it's a bass. And it's a tiny guy. I thought that was a snake because the wake was crazy, but we got our first fish, finally. This guy is a little small, so we're not gonna keep him, but he is a nice, nice bass. Pretty fish. Let's get a let's get a release of him or her. Guys, that's a big bass. This might be the one. This might be the bass we keep. He crushed that gambler. Guys, look at this bass. That's a pretty guy. I think we might keep this guy. I'm not sure. Guys, the bass is in here. Whoa. The bass is in here. God, I'm so tired. I literally ran all the way from the other side. Really quick. So here we have, he's like a two and a half, three pounds. I'm gonna wait when we get home, but we're gonna go home right now. We live like two minutes away. All right, guys, he's our bass. We're just gonna grab him real quick. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take him to the backyard because if I carry this, it, it might be too. It's gonna be too heavy if I just carry the whole entire like cooler. Alright guys. And three quarters pretty much. Alright, let's put this guy in the pond. This guy's like super cool. Like, I love this bass. Right, let's put him in. Oh, look at this guy. Beautiful. Alright. Sweet big girl. Guys, look at this bass. He literally is so perfect. All the fish are like the pugs right there, Sunny's right there, the cichlids right there, the little garami, which we had a garami the other day, right there, you see? And then the jewel cichlids around somewhere. But this guy looks so perfect, like the perfect size, because I didn't want one too big. <sighs> sorry, I'm talking so fast, but I'm like so excited right now. But sorry, I didn't want to get like a five, six pounder because it would be too big. So this like two and a half, almost three pounders, like perfect for the tank, for the pond. I mean, I keep saying tank. He looks so cool. Look at him. Imagine when he's like head in train, so like I go like this and he comes and eats right out of my hand. Lizards, tilapia, frogs, fish, literally anything. Let me make another underwater clip real quick. Thing right here in the little deep pocket right there, you can't see with all the glare obviously, but like he's chilling right there. Right now we're gonna go to another canal pond to get some lily pads and some other aquatic plants. And then we are gonna be planting some regular plants, like some of those, those two right there, I think like right there or right there or somewhere around there in the future we'll get some more plants to put there and then cover all that stuff but hopefully in the next video or, or whatever this bass eats because obviously he's stressed out but hopefully he eats like you know out of my hand and stuff here's the canal we're at there's a bunch of lily pads all across like the the shore you see so we're going to be just getting in the water and grabbing as much not as much as we can but like i want one solid like pile like maybe like that much right so like especially the ones at the little flowers so it looks pretty that you see we rip it out carefully we put like we dig our hands oh that scared the crap out of me we um just carefully dig our hands through the, like the dirt or the ground and take them out slowly we try not to rip the roots as much obviously some get ripped but like don't rip the plants from here because then you know there's no roots but these are like pretty we have one two three four five six seven eight i think seven eight nine but you see these are like pretty lily pads so we're gonna take one clump i think clump one like like thingy i think it should be fine this right here is another beautiful plant i saw the other day while i was fishing here and i was like this is perfect for the pond it's like purple leaves it's like i think these are called elephant ears i'm not sure there's like some green ones but they're mostly purple so it's like a water plant like half water half so these are out of water but that's in the water so those are gonna look really cool in the pond so i'm gonna grab them and take them to the bucket for the purple elephant ears i think that's what they're called i'm not even sure what they're called but we're gonna put this in. we're gonna take these home right now we're in the cooler we're gonna put them in the pond in like different sections like in the corners around it and it's just gonna look really cool so i'll catch you guys at home so we have these um plastic pots right here they're very soft and they have like holes on the bottom for the roots to grow out of so i put i passed this long root through it and then like through time it'll just take its natural path but we have a couple pebbles here that we're going to put in there as like a substrate in a way and yeah so we have three of those so one for this and one for that and then one for those two 
the plants are in and I guess they look kind of cool. I mean, I don't know, it's like, a, it's really hard to install these plants, but like, you see the roots are all there. But like, we have this cool one there, and then we have the lily pads right there, which are like, since the water isn't deep enough, the plants go like that, so hopefully, like later in the day, they get like used to it and they go back straight. And then I added those around the skimmer. So it looks kind of cool. The fish are like currently all chilling right there by the lily pads. I know you can't tell, but the cichlid, the, the bluegill, the sunny, the pocket with the ultra, and the bass is right here in the middle. I know you can't see anything. So we went cast netting just now and we caught two shiners right here and these are gonna go in the pond so you know the bass has something to eat later in the day like when he gets like less stressed and stuff so you see they're like golden shiners I think they are I don't even know what they are and they have a little gizzard not a little gizzard a little regular shad that we're gonna feed to the peacock in the tank so let's put these little guys in and then hopefully the bass does eat them later in the day. Imagine how cool it would be if we just attacked it right now. He's right there, by the way, if you can tell. So we have this beautiful plant here because we added it um, just now. It was right there, and we added it right here. I don't know what this kind of plant is, but I think it's kind of like a vein, vine type of plant because it kind of goes down. But it's like extremely green, and it goes down just like I wanted it into here, all over there. And it covers all this, so you can't even see it. And it just looks so great from the front. The aquatic plants like the lily pads and these aren't doing that good, so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get like rid of them in the future and just add smaller lily pads. So they feel like they actually go on the water like lily pads but the bass is doing great right he's right there the park was doing good everyone's doing good um i took out some leaves too i don't know if you could tell it's like a lot more like see-through you could tell more so it looks cooler i didn't take all of them out but i took at least like 70 percent of them out and it looks really cool i like how it looks with that green plant and i'm gonna add more plants there in the future there maybe lights around it too it's gonna look really cool all right guys i am gonna roll some more underwater footage when this video is over but i want you guys to find a name for this bass i think it's a female just because it's really really fat so try to find a name, any name will be cool, and then I'll pick the one I like the most. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!